I'm Greg Fenfgeld, and we're coming to you with the second part of the Christmas Oratorio and a little bit of an introduction to the music. We're performing parts one, two, and three of the Christmas Oratorio on December 11 and 12. And as I said to you last week when we talked about part one, I very much hope that you'll join us. The concert on Sunday, December 12 is being live streamed and the concerts on Saturday and Sunday, December 11 and 12 are also live and in person and we hope you'll join us. You can visit our website bach.org for all the details. The second part of the Christmas Oratorio for the second day of Christmas, remember it was a three day celebration of worship and incredible music. The second part talks about the shepherds out in the fields. And Bach starts with a beautiful sinfonia. This is an instrumental piece, and it's for flutes and strings, and then four oboes, two oboes d'amore and two English horns. It opens with music that you may know. It starts like this. see the shepherds sleeping out in the fields as they tend their flocks through the night. This is just before the angels arrive, of course, to tell them the good news that a savior has been born. But again, it starts... evocative piece of music. You can almost imagine um, a beautiful painting with stars in the sky, the shepherds laying on the side of the hill. It's really quite wonderful. Then there's a couple of other pieces before the tenor has a beautiful aria and it's about the joyful shepherds. It says, joyous shepherds, now go quickly, make haste, go with joy in search of the child. And the shepherd plays the flute, this beautiful solo flute. You can hear kind of the idea of hastening when you get these 30 second notes the idea of going quickly to find the child and offer adoration. And later, they talk about going again with this incredible joy and exuberance, and the flute and the, and the voice sing and play these very fast 30-second note runs. The idea of hurrying, you get the, the picture here. It's very, very beautiful. And then there's another verse from Luther's um, From Heaven Above to Earth I Come. These beautiful chorales that were meant for the congregation to feel connected to the drama and the story that's being told. Then there's a gorgeous lullaby that the alto sings. singing, um, sleep my dearest, cherish the calm. It's, a, it's a, a beautiful lullaby that Mary sings and uh, accompanied by the oboes and the strings and a solo flute which doubles the voice. Very beautiful. And then the evangelist comes and sings 
a short recitative that says, and suddenly there was with the heavenly host a multitude of the angels, and they sing glory to God in the highest. And the choir comes in full voice with the flutes, the four oboes, and the strings. And they sing this rejoicing chorus, praise to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to people with whom he is pleased. And then the final chorale comes in, another verse of From Heaven Above to Earth I Come, with the choir way up high. And Bach brings back the oboes and the flutes from the opening symphonia. part two of the Christmas Oratorio. Again, go to our website, Bach.org, and find out about these concerts on December 11 in Allentown at the First Presbyterian Church and 12 in Bethlehem at the First Presbyterian Church. The Bethlehem concert will also be live streamed. I very much hope that you'll join us. Thank you very much.